what's the difference between an X-Tool M1 laser engraver and a WeCreate Vision laser engraver? That's a great question that I've been getting asked a lot lately. These are two different types of laser engravers that I own and have videos about on my channel. I actually just got a third laser engraver, the Laser Pecker 4, so I'll be making some new videos about that machine in the future. But today is all about the WeCreate in the X-Tool. We'll be comparing and contrasting all of the different features, including speed, power, cutting area, safety, cost, and so much more. Nobody is sponsoring me or paying me to make this video, so you don't need to worry about me having a bias. I'm simply spelling out the facts and differences. You can even fact check this data right on their websites, which is where I got my data from. By the end of this video, you'll have a full understanding of the differences and be able to make an informed decision on what laser graver is best for your needs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carrie. I share all kinds of DIY craft videos on my channel with laser engravers, sublimation printers, heat presses, and Cricut vinyl cutters. I also have a bunch of videos talking about how you can make money working from home with these machines and tons of fun money-making project ideas. If you want to see more content, then like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. I upload new content every week. Both of these laser machines are fantastic for DIY enthusiasts, small businesses, and hobbyists alike. They can both be used to make money by creating personalized products like gifts, home decor, and other crafts. But they do have some major differences that may make one more suitable for your needs than the other. Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the X-Tool M1 laser engraver and vinyl cutter. This machine is unlike any other machine on the market. It's the world's first two-in-one laser engraving and blade cutting machine. I like to use the analogy that if a Cricut had a baby with a Glowforge, this is what you'd get. It has a laser for laser engraving and a blade that magnets into place for cutting vinyl. You can't cut vinyl with a laser. It will melt and it's extremely toxic to breathe in. But you can cut it super easily with the blade that comes in the X-Tool M1. The We Create Vision doesn't have a vinyl cutting blade, so that's a huge difference. I love making vinyl projects. With vinyl, you can make car decals, memorial lanterns, custom wine glasses and beer mugs, wall decals, labels for organizing, and so much more. I actually have a great video on my channel talking about my favorite vinyl Cricut projects that you should definitely check out. With heat transfer vinyl that also requires a cutting blade, you can make custom shirts, hats, stuffed animals, you can even heat press vinyl onto wood to make custom wood signs. I have tutorials for most of these projects on my channel. If you already have a Cricut, then you don't really need the blade feature that comes with the X-Tool M1. But if you're just starting out in the crafting world and have nothing, then the X-Tool M1 would be my choice. If you already have a vinyl cutter, then I would take a closer look at the We Create Vision. So the first thing you should ask yourself is, do I already have a vinyl cutter at home? And if not, is that something that I would be interested in getting into? The We Create Vision also has a super special feature that sets it apart from all other laser engravers on the market. The We Create Vision is the world's first auto-lifting laser engraver and cutter. That's why it looks so much taller than the X-Tool. Let me explain what that means. With the X-Tool M1, it can't laser engrave tall objects without manually being raised off the table. I tried to laser engrave this cutting board, but it was too tall for the X-Tool without being raised up. But I was able to laser engrave this one, which is a little bit thinner. So that gives you an idea of how thick of a material that you can put in the X-Tool M1 without raising it. And this is how the cutting board came out that I made with the X-Tool. I think it came out amazing and I love it. There's two options for raising the X-Tool to accommodate larger projects. The first cheapest way is with wooden blocks. So you literally pick up the laser engraver and place it on four pieces of wood. But when you do this, it opens up the underneath of the machine, so then smoke can exit out your room through the bottom. To help solve this problem, X-Tool came out with a riser base with honeycomb panel. This allows the machine to be raised but still enclosed. I think it's definitely worth it to get the honeycomb panel, even though it's a costly add-on. You still have to pick up the machine and place it onto the riser, but fortunately the X-Tool M1 isn't too big or heavy. I'm a pretty small person and I'm able to lift it up myself. The We Create looks a lot bigger than the X-Tool, but it's actually not. It only looks so much bigger because it raises up automatically. If you were to lift up the X-Tool on the blocks or risers, it would be around the same size. The X-Tool is 22 inches long. The We Create is 23 and a quarter inches long. The X-Tool is 17 and a half inches wide, and the WeCreate is 19 and a half inches wide. 
With the Wii Free Vision, it's fully enclosed and lifts automatically with the push of a button. This one-of-a-kind auto-lifting enclosure eliminates the need for a riser base to work with a wide range of materials. You can engrave and cut everything right inside this machine. I've done some pretty big projects like laser engraving 40 ounce tumblers, which I have a tutorial for on my channel. Since it's fully enclosed, you don't need to worry about smoke filling up your room. I'm able to vent both machines right out of my window. If you don't have a window, both machines have smoke purifiers that can be purchased separately for around $1,000. These are big boxes filled with filters that are supposed to clean the air so you can laser engrave inside without a window. I bought this inline duct fan on Amazon to help pull the smoke out of my window even faster. It's made a big difference on keeping the smoke down and it wasn't too expensive. Both machines are FDA class one certified. A class one laser is eye safe under all operating conditions and is safe under all reasonably anticipated conditions of use. This means that you don't need to wear additional eye protection when laser engraving. I love this because laser engraving glasses like these never stay on my face and are weird to see through. Now let's talk power. The Xtool M1 is a 10 watt diode laser and the WeCreate Vision is a 20 watt diode laser. That means that the WeCreate has twice the amount of power. With double the power, you can cut projects faster and deeper. The maximum thickness an Xtool M1 can cut in one pass is 8 millimeters. The Wii Create cuts 10 millimeters. Let's compare speed. The Xtool M1 has a speed of 250 millimeters per second. The Wii Create is 600 millimeters per second. So the Wii Create is over twice as fast. Now let's compare the working area dimensions. The Xtool M1 working area is 15 by 11.8 inches. The Wii Create working area is 16.54 inches by 11.42 inches. That's really not much of a difference. The Wii Create is slightly larger in length by 1.54 inches, but shorter in width by 0.38 inches. So that's pretty close, but the Wii Create does have a larger working area. You can put materials larger than the working area inside the laser too. So while you can only engrave a space that's 16.54 by 11.42 inches, you could put a piece of wood into the machine that's up to 18.7 by 12.52 inches on the Wii Create. Both of these machines are diode lasers, so they can cut the same materials. As we just discussed, the Wii Create can cut slightly thicker and larger projects faster. Some commonly engraved materials with a diode laser are wood, leather, paper, MDF, coated stainless steel, some dark opaque acrylic, bamboo, fabric, dark glass, ceramic, cement, brick, and so much more. You can use pretty much everything except clear acrylic, clear glass, and food. Dark glass and acrylic are okay, but there are some hacks out there for engraving on clear surfaces with a diode laser. You can paint the surface with laser marking spray, chalk spray, or tempura paint, then clean it off after. I'll leave links to these materials in my video description or you can use laser marking paper. I plan on making a video about how to laser engrave clear materials with the diode laser pretty soon. As far as food goes, if you have a brand new machine and use it for food only, it's fine. But doing food after wood cutting or engraving, the dust may soil the food. Soft metals like gold, silver, brass, and copper cannot be cut or engraved with a diode laser. An infrared or CO2 laser would be better for these types of materials. I love how both of these machines have a camera built in. This makes it so you can see your blank when it's on the bed. You can drag and drop your design into the software and know it will engrave exactly how it looks on the screen. Both machines use their own version of software. The We Create software is called We Create Make It, and Xtool software is called Xtool Creative Space. They're pretty similar and have a lot of the same frequently used tools like importing designs adding text, shapes, things like that. I think currently the Xtool software has some more useful features like being able to export designs you make as an SVG file, but the WeCreate Make It software is getting better as time goes on. One frequently asked question with laser engravers are, are they compatible with Lightburn? Lightburn is software that allows users to design, edit, and control laser cutters. It's considered the industry standard program for laser engraving. The answer on compatibility is sort of. Neither machine is fully compatible with Lightburn. Full compatibility means that Lightburn will detect the machine and cameras through USB and send the program right to the laser with no other software requirements. Neither machine will fully connect to Lightburn in this way. 
The way that these machines are compatible is that since both machines run off of a programming language called G-Code, you can download a machine profile to configure Lightburn to output the code and a format your machine will read. Then you take that code file generated in Lightburn and send it to the laser using either the X tool or we create software. You lose the ability to position your work using the camera, so things can get kind of tricky with complex projects. I hope one day both companies can get full Lightburn support because like I said earlier, it really is the industry standard laser engraving software with tons of great features. One thing that I'm really excited for is on the WeCreate's website, it says they're working on several different laser heads, such as the infrared 1064 nanometer laser to work with all kinds of metal, glass, and acrylic projects. They will gradually offer these new laser heads in the upcoming months. Being able to swap out laser heads in this machine will be such a cool game changer. It would allow you to cut so many more different kinds of materials. Which machine was easier to set up? Both machines came nearly fully assembled, but one machine was definitely faster and easier to put together than the other. That machine was the X-Tool M1. I love how their screws didn't require annoying screwdrivers or Allen wrenches. I also like how their hose clamp was a pinch design. This was a lot easier to put on than the type that came with the Wii Create that you had to tighten with a screwdriver. I've had other laser engravers in the past that took hours to assemble, so I was really happy that both of these machines were so easy, easy enough for a beginner to put together. I have unboxing and how to assemble videos for both of these lasers on my channel. The next thing I want to talk about is air assist. Air assist is a feature of a laser cutter that blows high pressure air between the laser beam and the material during cutting or engraving. It can help improve results by reducing heat, removing debris, preventing burning, and improving edge quality. Simply put, an air assist will make your projects look cleaner and with less burn marks around the design, which is really important. Air assist is included in the We Create. One thing that I love about the We Create Vision is that it's an all-in-one machine, so there's not a ton of stuff sold separately. You can either buy just the machine, the machine plus the rotary, or the machine plus the rotary and a fume extractor. Their basic pack comes with everything except the rotary. So that's the 20 watt machine, the auto lifting enclosure, an HD camera, the laser bed, and air assist. Now let's compare the cost. The We Create Basic Pack is normally listed at $16.99.99, but is on sale right now for $13.99.99, so $1,400. Trying to talk about pricing with the X-Tool M1 is a little more difficult because a lot of the things are sold separately, and then you have bundles, which usually save you more money. Their basic machine, just like this, is going for $1,099, on sale from the normal price of $14.99.99. This is just the machine without an air assist, rotary, or risers. So comparing the basic X-Tool to the basic We Create, the X-Tool is cheaper by $300. However, the basic We Create has 10 watt more power, air assist, and rises to accommodate taller projects. To bring the X-Tool to the same level as the We Create's basic package, you would have to buy the air assist sold separately, which is currently going for $135.15, and the honeycomb riser, which is $159.79. Adding those two things on separately would bring your total to $1,393.94. So basically the same price as the basic We Create but you get half the power, but you also get the blade cutting technology. Now let's talk about cost, including the rotary attachment. A rotary is what you need to engrave round objects like tumblers. The X-Tool Deluxe package includes the rotary, air assist, and $286 worth of free gifts. These gifts include basic and premium materials, mats necessary to cut vinyl with the machine, blades, and vinyl. However, that doesn't include the honeycomb risers, which you need to use the rotary, unless you want to use the wooden blocks. So add on another $159.97 to that $13.99, and now you're at $15.58.97. The rotary pack on the We Create is $15.99.99. However, they have a great Easter sale going on right now where you can get the rotary and a 23-piece set of colored plywood for $1,539.97. Colored plywood is cool because you don't have to paint your wood at all. I hate painting. A 13-piece pack is $120 on their website, so getting a 23-piece set, almost double, included for less than the normal cost of the machine and a rotary is a pretty sweet deal. But it's double the power and it doesn't have a cutting blade. 
If you want to add on the fume extractor, that will bring your cost up quite a bit. The We Create bundle that includes the fume extractor is $1,799.99. However, I've heard some pretty not great reviews about their fume extractor. I have one, but I still haven't taken it out of the box yet, so I can't speak from experience on that. The Xtools Best Bundle, including their fume extractor, is $2,424. They call theirs a smoke purifier, that's the same thing as a fume extractor, and theirs has pretty good reviews on Amazon. This bundle also comes with a few hundred dollars worth of materials. I'm curious if these smoke purifiers are interchangeable. Like, could you put an Xtool smoke purifier on a WeCreate? That's something that I would like to know. As you can see, there's a lot of differences between these two machines. It's hard to say if one machine is really better than the other because they're just different. The main difference is being the blade cutting feature on the Xtool M1, the auto rising feature on the WeCreate Vision, the 10 watt versus 20 watt power differences, and the air assist being included on the WeCreate but sold separately on the Xtool. If you already own a Cricut machine, then I think that the WeCreate is a better buy. But if you don't have a Cricut or similar cutting machine, then having the blade feature is a really cool feature with the X-Tool. If you're interested in purchasing either of these machines, I have links to both down below in my video description. Since I am part of their affiliate programs, I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you if you make a purchase through my link. If you learned something new and enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.